I was going to ask you about the homeless stuff. We we were here, what, two years ago? Yeah. Yeah, two and three it was, years ago. It was really, really getting, it was height of, you know, pandemic stuff and all that. But, man, last night going around, it's way different. Yeah, they cleaned it up. They did, a, they did it in a very intelligent way. They acquired hotels and they bought uh, buildings and house people and they have a bunch of different programs they do to try to help people get back on their feet and they discourage camping they won't let people camp you just can't camp under the bridges they clean up your shit they'll take you out of there they'll let you know that there's resources available for you but the real problem in all these cases is mental illness that's the real problem mental illness and drug addiction and both of those yeah. things kind of go hand in hand and a lot of those folks are like badly badly addicted to drugs and they can't sustain themselves and they can't support themselves and uh, i don't think encouraging them to just camp out everywhere like they do in san francisco and they actually give them money for doing that that doesn't help anybody it's not helping them it's not helping your community it's terrible so and you, everybody knows it you and don't think that enabling them and giving them uh, like needles and stuff like california does is help. beneficial or? i think they should <laughs> give them everybody's money all the money <laughs> if they were rich they'd have no problems just, just give them all a million dollars Come on, I mean, all the money we're spending in Ukraine is only like 2,000 homeless people. They could afford that. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I don't know if it kills your problems. Look at the fucking ShamWell guy, you know? I mean, <laughs> Different problems. <laughs> Different problems. Amplifies it, maybe. Yeah, I mean, if you just gave them money, it wouldn't help. You, you really, I don't know what to do. I mean, I think that like when a person is that fucked, when their mind is that fucked, and they're, they're that far gone in terms of life, they have no hope, and they're, they're just covered in filth, and they're living in a tent, it's like taking that person and rebuilding them is a massive project. It's probably going to take as much time to make them normal as it took for them to get that fucked up. So you think about like childhood abuse, sexual abuse, violence, uh, detention, juvenile system. They, they've gone through jail. They've gone through so many different things. They, they have no hope that life is eventually going to be awesome. When you wake up, you go to an awesome job. You guys have a cool place. You work with cool people. You make awesome shit. That feels good. That's like a good feeling. Oh, yeah. These guys never have good feelings unless they're getting high. And that's what's that's the scary thing. So, like, you get them out of that, and then they're going to be depressed. They have nothing going on. They're 43 years old. They've never had a job. Like, how do you fix that? You, but you don't fix it by just letting them camp out somewhere. I mean, I don't know what the solution is because at a certain point in time, it's like, it's so hard to turn people around and they have to want to turn around like so like it has to be in them that they somehow or another want to do better because some people don't want to do better they just want to stay high you know they just like i feel better when i'm high i just rather stay high and they just, just do heroin caught, just get caught in that rut you got a lot of huge mega churches out there that aren't doing nothing for them you yeah. got tens of thousands of people in arenas and i mean they're not doing shit I don't think they can do anything, man. This yeah, is but the they're not doing anything. They're not doing anything. But I don't think they can do anything. I don't think I don't know what you can do, other than what they've done in Austin. But Austin is small. Like I had the mayor on Stephen Adler, and we talked about it. And one of the things that he said was like, "I it's my goal before I leave office to put a handle on this homeless thing. If I don't do that, I failed." And I think he did it. But the thing that he said was, "We can do it because we only have." somewhere in the neighborhood of 2,000 homeless people. He goes, Los Angeles is unmanageable. They have like 100,000 homeless people. When you get to that point, have you ever seen Skid Row in downtown LA? Dude, it's never in person. Yeah. It's insane. I saw it in person in the early 2000s, before the pandemic, and it was nuts then. That's like, wild. I couldn't believe it. And it was engineered. They used to take people when they would arrest them and dump them off on Skid Row. They'd take people and bring them there. Like, they, they literally set up these homeless shelters, and they set up these food banks, and they set up... And these people just live on the street. It's a zombie movie. It's so crazy when you go down there. Have you and seen when this? I... What is this? <clears throat> this is saying that there's up to 10,000 people now homeless in Austin. 10,000? Yeah, 1% of the population. What? It's, it's according to the city of Austin's own count. Holy shit. Is this <clears throat> new? Yeah, I mean, they're all, they moved them out of the downtown area and under the bridges, and they all live out in the parks now, apparently. Like, <laughs> oh, in like state parks? Not even state parks, like city of the city parks. This is Zilker Park, I think. What? Yeah. Wow. That's crazy, man. I didn't know that. So they just got it out of view? Is that what yeah, they did? Yeah, I believe so. So is what it is is like there's different people that have to patrol that 
it might be different than the cops that are patrolling people on the streets. 168 different camps across wow. the city. Wow. Wow. Off, often hidden from public hmm. view in the woods. For sure. Dude, it's, it's kind of like, you know, sweeping the, the floor. Okay, take everything I said back. <laughs> <laughs> Under they the rug there it. a little bit. Or they just got it off just the streets. Just blew the lid off of Damn. that one. They just got it off the streets, and now there's camp. Mix. Back when your mom said clean the room. Oh, yeah. I did a great job. Yeah, cleaning the room. right under the rug. <laughs> <laughs> all under the bed. So are those all marks on the map that are homeless encampments? Yeah, as of uh, published February 26th. So I think it's as of June. And so they think there's 10,000 people? Is this like some New York Post exaggeration? I don't know. <laughs> but that's what what the, Los, the Austin city, of Austin, city thinks? Yeah, city, city of Austin County. What do we know about website. homelessness in Austin? Wow, so if that's the case, then when the mayor was on, which was a couple of years ago, the number's gone up by 8,000 people? There was another crazy story. That's what I was looking while you guys were talking, uh, that Mayfair Hotel in L.A. Yeah. Remember that's come up in a bunch of documentaries and all yeah. sorts of stuff? They just paid, the city paid $11.5 million in damages because they used that in what they called Project Room Key, which got a bunch of p people off the street into housing. But immediately, uh, drug use, damages in the hallways, violence, all sorts of stuff. And now the city wants to buy that building for like $83 million. Oh, wow. And, and do know. what? House homeless yeah, people? And exactly. Just, just continue. Let it stay being a shithole. You're telling me they gave them a free room and they destroyed it. Yeah. They're a little, you know, self-destructive. They're not in the best state of, state of mind. Yeah. I don't know how we got on that subject. Yeah. yeah. You said about something it. about Bucky's. Have you seen the <laughs> Bucky's? They're, they're making <laughs> yeah. they're No, they're building one in Mexico, but the it's not a, a Bucky's. It's so a knockoff? Yeah, they're trying. They're, they got them cease and desist and all that shit, and they're still building it. Did you see it's what like they did with In and Out? Uh uh. In Mexico, they, they have uh, it's not in and out, it's, it's like in knee out. Something like that. Just see, like, just see, copycat. It it's the yeah. same logo. It's the same look. Yeah. So it's not called In and Out. What is it called? So this is in, in I. This is in Culiacan, <laughs> Mexico. Out. In I and Out. It looks Man. exactly like In and Out. When you go there, the burgers are all the same. The trays are the same. Animal style. The whole thing's the same. They just stole the menu, they stole the way it looks, and they barely changed the name. Yeah, Got to applaud their effort there. Yeah, I mean, it's not like they're making Ferraris. You know, it's a fucking cheeseburger, <laughs> right. you know? You, you can make a cheeseburger exactly like that cheeseburger. Yeah, but you could also come up with your own name. And name. Or you could logo. just say, fuck just you, <laughs> I live in Mexico. 